Today we're going to find out what happened to Adam and Eve and why everyone is born with an empty spot in their middle. Before we begin, I need you to remember that God has an enemy. Do you remember his name? Satan. We read about this enemy in Genesis 3, but in Genesis 3, he's called a serpent. Now, later on in the Bible, Jesus tells us that that serpent was Satan. Now, we may not know for sure how Satan and the serpent came together and worked together, but we know that there was really Satan and really a serpent in the garden. And what happened was Satan tricked Eve into disobeying God, and then Adam disobeyed too. Now, what did they do? Yes. They ate fruit from the one tree in the whole garden that they weren't supposed to. But their big mistake was not trusting God. And the, he, they didn't trust that God told them the truth and that he only had good in mind for them. Instead, they believed their enemy's lies. They believed Satan's lies to them. And when Satan told them that God was holding back the best from them and that God didn't want them to be like him. Now, wait a minute. They already were like him. God told them not to eat from the tree. Let's read it together. Genesis 2.16 says, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you, sh you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat from that tree, you shall surely die. But Satan told them, oh, you're not going to die. You're going to be like gods. You'll know good from evil. So they listened and they ate the fruit. Now, they didn't fall over dead right away. They were probably really relieved, don't you think? They walked around, they talked to each other, but something was happening that they couldn't see. They could feel it. They were feeling afraid. They had never been afraid before. They didn't know what fear was. And they started to argue. Then the glory lifted and left them and they found out they were naked. Now here's what happened. The spirit inside them was poor, like, it was like their disobedience was like poison to the spirit inside of them. And that changed them. They started to die on the inside and then it influenced their thoughts, their soul, right? Their thoughts and their emotion. And eventually it affected their body and they did die. Well, when they had kids, this spiritual de de defect, um, it was passed on to their kids. Now, when they had kids, their kids were just like them. Why? Well, that's that poison spirit that they had. It was it was passed on to their kids. It's kind of like a spiritual defect they had. And we call that kind of condition fallen. We say that man is born fallen. He's born sinful. And that has to do with having that poison spirit. It's like this big empty spot right there. And all of us are born that way. It's not what God wanted for us. It's not how he had created us in the first place, but it happened. It happened because that's what our, our first great, 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 a hundred times a hundred great grandparents Adam and Eve did. So what can we do about it? Well, we can believe what God told Adam and Eve right after they ate from that tree. Because even though they had sinned, 
They didn't lose their value to God. He didn't stop loving them. He still wanted to fellowship with them. But listen to what he said to Satan. In Genesis 3.15, he told, God told Satan, there's going to be a war between you and the woman. There's going to be a war between your seed and her seed. And by him, your head, Satan, is going to be crushed. And by you, his foot will be wounded. Can you guess who God was talking about there? He was talking about Jesus. Jesus defeated Satan when he was crucified on the cross and his heel was wounded, right? The nail went through his foot into the cross. But then Jesus rose from the dead. And when we invite Jesus into our hearts, he's able to give us a new spirit. The Bible says he create, we, have, we get a new spirit. We're made brand new. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says if anybody is in Christ, he's a new creation. He's a new formation. The old things have passed away and all things have become new. There is no more empty spot. You have a brand new spirit. Now we're going to talk about Jesus more in the next video, but in this video, I just want you to remember that you were born, that everyone is born fallen. They're born into sin. And so when you see all the bad things that happen in the world today, you can look back and say, uh-oh, yeah, we were all born into sin. And if people aren't acting and obeying God, then this is what it looks like, bad, right? So just remember, before you ask Jesus into your heart, everybody is born fallen or born into sin. And next week, we're going to talk more about Jesus. See you then.